Megan, I saw that you directed an episode this season, and that got me really excited. And it was a great episode, too. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it was my first um, my first time directing. Uh, and uh, I have to give credit to Rob. He just kept asking me until I couldn't say no anymore. Um, <laughs> and uh, it was a fantastic experience. Um, I actually, it's been a dream of mine to be a part of a scene where none of the actors could keep it together so that we could get a take. Um, and we had one of those scenes in that episode um, where I, I actually had to tell them at the beginning of every take, stop laughing, hold your faces, keep it uh, straight. And uh, so that was a real joy. Good, good, I'm happy to hear that. And Danny, how was it playing Darkness? Oh, a dream come true. You know, I knew, it was going to be exciting when uh, I had a random uh, phone call asking me to get my head measured and my neck measured um, for a life cast. And uh, being in a makeup chair for a couple hours, getting color co contact lenses, fully transforming. It was, um, oh, it was beautiful. Even got like, even got fake teeth, my canines felt really good. It felt like my, you know, um, a great way to explore the last year, you know, how I feel inside, but it was, <laughs> It was a truly wonderful, exciting, exciting moment. Well, it looked really cool. I'm pretty sure if I had that on when my three-year-old came into the room, he'd probably run the other way. But for me, it took me back to watching that movie Legend with Tom Cruise. So it looked oh. good. Oh, great. He just called you Tom Cruise there, Danny. Did you catch that? Yeah, take that. Finally, finally, jot that down. My kids are right over here. Jot that down. It's <laughs> <laughs> the first one. Yeah. Good, good. Uh, you know, this show, it, it speaks so much about the creative process. And what I found really interesting about this season is there's a particular episode, even though it's littered throughout, is uh, how people respond to uh, criticism. There's one episode in particular, and I won't say which one it is, that really delves into this, uh, where somebody's looking at a piece of paper that has, you know, red marks all over it. And, and so I can't help but be curious, uh, do you believe that friction creates diamonds and how do you respond to criticism yourself? Um, yeah, I, I, you know, it's always been my philosophy that a good note can come from anywhere. Um, so uh, it's a, I mean, something we deal with in the show is the struggle of ego that goes into making a creative project. And obviously it's important to have ego, enough ego to believe in yourself that you can see through an idea that you've had from from making nothing, making something out of nothing. Um, but then you have to check that ego when you have outside people telling you what they think of it, because obviously you don't make something to live in a vacuum. You make it to be enjoyed by people. So um, a lot of this year and that, that episode dealt with um, themes of how much is ego a help and when is it a hindrance? Um, and, uh, and so we're watching the characters navigate that. Certainly Poppy this season um, has been unchained from Ian. She was always, you know, under the thumb of this ego maniacal ruler. And then basically this season, it's like, well, what if you were that? And we see the ways in which she maybe is more like him than she would like to admit to herself. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, they're about to wrap me, but Danny, uh, there are many scenes that I would love to have a deep discussion with with you, uh, but I, I want to protect the reveals of the show. But what I would like to talk about is your ability to deliver lines in such a way where it sticks and hangs around me, me all day where I can't help but laugh about it later. And they can be Aww. surprising ones. Like uh, this season, there's one where you say it's both hilarious and upsetting, but I'm not laughing or upset, which shows how little I care. Um, yes. What is your process for making Brad's language your own? Uh, I, in that particular moment, I, that's a moment where someone tries to bring their personal uh, life into the office, which I find really fun about Brad is he tries to keep this sort of shark, like none of this matters. Your lives don't matter to me. It's all about business. It's all about bottom dollar. And I think for me, it starts with a character and it's been really fun. And Megan uh, and Rob, and, and they've, they've written Brad in such a fun way to be this sort of opposite uh, within the office, to be this person who isn't affected seemingly by everyone else's lives. And so I start there and just try to be like, how much can we, how, how little can I care about what I'm saying <laughs> uh, and about these people? And it's really fun because in my own life, I care 
how my language affects people. And it's fun to play someone who is just like, I'm going to tell you what it's like to not care about you at all. And, and say, and that to me is just hilarious. So that's, it's, I try to really kind of like play with the honesty of Brad really not caring about how his words affect people. <laughs>